Good morning, everybody. Michael the Maven. I have a question for you guys, and I'm hoping some of you can help me answer this. So I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I've been teaching since 1999 on a professional level. I taught at the University of Alabama for eight years. It was a great experience. And when I started teaching, I always told myself I would never you know, make a student feel bad or put them on their place because then they would stop asking questions. And there's something that happens in the photography community that I see it time and again, where a brand new photographer comes into a forum or they're asking a question and we're really mean to them. Some, some photographers are just totally nasty name calling and telling them they're stupid and things of that nature. And the more I've thought about this, the more I've come to the conclusion that I think sometimes these questions they're asking are inappropriate. I'm going to list a couple of them, but I want to give you some background. I started off as a videographer and I wanted to get into photography and there was a wedding I was shooting at in Alabama and there was a photographer there and I went to him and I asked him, you know, some questions about exposure compensation, you know, a technical question. And he was really mean to me. He's just, told me he wasn't going to answer. It's like, wow, what a jerk, you know? And you got to remember, this is back in 2003 before YouTube and, you know, just go to YouTube and find any answer you want. So information back then, it was a lot harder to get. You had to go to a school or you had to order a book or you had to talk to somebody who actually knew what they were doing. You just couldn't get information like you could today. You know, I have a Facebook group for the Canon 90D. It's a really great group. There's lots of information in there. And we get these new photographers coming in and they're asking questions that I, I've already answered 12 different ways. You know, I have these pinned announcements. Here are all of your lens questions answered. Recommended lenses, you know, sharpness, ITR tracking, the free tutorial, all of these resources, and they were coming in and asking, what's a good lens for the Canon 90D? I'm like, I've answered this so many times, just look. It kind of reminds me when I was a kid, I would open the refrigerator and I would, I'd be looking for something and I couldn't find it. And I, you know, I'd ask my stepmom, hey, where is this? And she would just flip out. It's literally right here behind the butter or whatever it is. One of the conclusions that I'm coming to, and this is a psychology thing, is, information is so readily available today, sometimes it's easier to be lazy, where we can just go to somebody and kind of pass off the responsibility. Hey, I have a problem, you teach me this. And on a scale of zero to 10, this would be a question, you know, like on a zero to one, where any search would give them the answer, are we doing a disservice by answering them too quickly? That's the question I want to know, is that when a student isn't doing due diligence for themselves, are we hurting them more by answering them right away? In the past, I would just say, here's the answer. But now what I'm starting to think is that there's some truth and there's some reasoning as to why people are nasty to beginning photographers. I don't think you need to be mean to them, but there's a certain level of beginning photographer that wants to pass the burden onto somebody else. They're basically saying, I don't wanna do the research, find this answer for me. And if you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. If you teach a man to fish, he'll eat for the rest of his life. When we're answering these questions, these really low level questions too quickly, they're not even going through the trouble of doing a basic Google search that would find this information for them. So this is the thing that I'm struggling with as a teacher. I feel like when I answer too quickly, I'm enabling that behavior. I am teaching them to not take some responsibility for their own education. Do you see the dilemma? Where if it's a, a little bit more sophisticated question, you know, what about this lens in this one specific type of shooting? Okay, I get that. But if they're just buying the camera and they're like, hey, what's a good lens? I'm like, there's so much information out there. Within the last week, I've come to the conclusion that on the really low end questions that I'm probably not going to answer them anymore or just give them like a gentle suggestion. Hey, I did a Google search. This is what I found, you know, and try to help them and teach them to learn. But I, I don't think we're helping students when we enable them to not do even the slightest bit of research on their own. I know that sounds brutal. The second instance, and I get this all the time, is when students are sending me questions about camera bodies and lenses. Is this combo better or this combo but better? And what I'm getting from that is that they're worried about taking the risk of their investment, they don't wanna make a bad choice, and they're trying to pass that decision on to me. I've even had 
People come back to me and say, hey, you know that lens you reckon? I didn't like it. They literally want me to take the risk of their decision. And in those cases, I'm just starting to say, hey man, this is your decision. I can tell you what I like, but that's something you're going to have to do on your own. The third instance where I'm starting to feel like it's okay to not answer is in situations where they're designed to incite. Somebody comes into the Canon 90D group and says, hey, I'm thinking about a Canon 90D, but the Alpha 6600 is better because boom, 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 boom. And they're just there to start a fight, not even going to answer them anymore. And I can also kind of understand when the questions are about like competitive advantages and marketing in a business sense. So if I had a really specific look that I was using and I was known for it and somebody came to me and said, hey, teach me that your style, I can understand that as well. But it was a real learning experience for me because I came to the conclusion, while I like to help 95% of the time, there are some times it's probably better to not answer. I feel dirty saying that. I don't know, am I wrong? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.